Erskine house. We're back and uh, it's supposed to be a stormy day today so we got to do, do the painting on the inside but before we get too excited about going over the rest of this paint slog, it's just another day of paint labor uh, and maybe the back door. We might do the back door and some odds and ends, some electrical stuff and some stove stuff and some range stuff but there was a problem. I came to the property this morning and we have an open back shed. That's not good. Um, our front door wasn't kicked open or anything, but the back door was opened, which is odd because there is the previous tenant stuff still there. And I told them they can have till February 1st to get it out, kind of as a peace offering so they don't destroy the property. And I can tell you the back door, nothing else has been broken into. So I'm guessing that was the previous tenant and they did lock the gate they just didn't lock the shed that's odd you know there's not even a lock here so okay so i was hoping i didn't turn this video on just to expose me being broken into so that's good looks like it was probably him looks like there is some stuff of value in here that did not get taken so i'm assuming a thief would have taken that sorry for the shoddy camera work uh but he did take the lock so I can't lock it up for him. Well, all right. So today's a paint day in the rain. This is what the valley looks like. I wish I could show you guys the lake and the river. It is overflowing. So that's what we're doing today. Paints, doors, loose ends. And, and before anyone starts criticizing, I was gonna cut the video off, but I just feel like if it was summertime and I had till eight o'clock at night, uh, and I had decent weather, this wouldn't be a nine-day project. We, we could have done this house in probably twice the speed, but just, just listen, we'll, we'll speed run a house renovation this year, okay? Doing it in the winter time is just tough. I mean, that's like adding extra difficulty to the challenge. Well, it's proven a little difficult to work outside today. I was hoping that it would just be a little bit of rain, but with the wind kicking up and the way the rain coming in sideways, Forrest Gump style, uh, it's not going to be very fun to be out here soaking wet with the breeze like this. So we're going to probably just get back in the house and uh, leave this for another day. Just like that, in the middle of a storm, the entire house is sprayed down. Inside, outside, Jared's pulling all the tape now before it dries. Don't want to have it dry and then have the tape on it and then you start pulling shark teeth. Uh, but we are sprayed down. Everything in this house is Swiss coffee. My main areas of concern were the ceiling here where there was a yellow kind of plastic bit. Uh, it took the, paint, the primer and the paint. I would say it's not perfect, but certainly good enough. Uh, you can kind of see just a slight shade difference, but that's okay. We're not going to spray the whole ceiling down because of that. This house will get sprayed over the years many, many times as tenants come and go. Uh, so here's our kitchen before it's all, all the masking is removed. And I'll just run you guys into this room here and uh, just assume the rest of the house looks the same. Still on day nine, kicking the afternoon off. The crew is gone. It's just me. And our GoPro is turning white. Doesn't look as white in the mirror, but uh, we've been painting and priming, so it's uh, getting a lot of overspray. We're just keeping the lens clean and going with it. So now we're at the point where we do have a break in the storm, but I'm still not ready to go out and put all the casings in. So I'm gonna focus on the electrical. Now that the house is painted, I can start actually doing some finish work in here, finally. So here's what we got. Uh, we've got two of these outdoor lights. I'm actually going to put those inside in the new bedroom. And the reason is because it's a rental house, these are really durable. These little glass tubes, they're cheap and they're durable. So no one should be breaking those without great effort. Uh, these are our smoke alarms and our carbon monoxide alarms. They do make them comboed, but they're a little more expensive. And I wanted ones on batteries. 
Um, I prefer them hardwired when you can, but I think there's only one area for hardwired smoke detectors in this house. So I've got four and four, uh, one for each bedroom and then one for the kitchen hallway area. So that should be, uh, that'll cover our security concerns. Uh, this is our vent hood for our dryer. Here's the light bulbs to go in where we need them. Uh, this will be our, our sconch. This was going to be the interior light. I was just a little nervous about it and I don't want to switch on it. Not that it really matters. And then this is our front door light, just a plain white box light. And these are our metal plates. And I think I'll show you these. This is one of those things where this is like a, a trick, a rental house trick. So when you have a hole in the wall from a previous furnace or a fan or exhaust or whatever it is, the paneling is only quarter inch or less. Well, you can't just punch a hole there and replace it with drywall. Uh, because the drywall is minimum quarter inch. Uh, so I think minimum three eighths. Either way, it's not going to float right. You're always going to have a bump there. So when you take this tiny panel, it's all strong metal, and go right over it, four screws in it, it covers it up. Uh, does it look perfect? No, but it really does hide the blemish and gives you the option in the future if you want to add a furnace, it's already got the holes punched in it. So we'll put these where we need them and uh, Start fixing all the outlets, right? We got all the outlet covers. You can start covering all those up, and uh, this is going to start to look like a proper house. And then we're just going to need a floor, that, and you know, a fair bit of other work, a couple odds and ends. You'll you'll see soon. But let's get going. Okay, we're making headway on the house. We've got all the electrical covers, switches all put back on. Real easy stuff, didn't want to film that. Uh, I did get the lights in the third room all set up and working and covered up. So that room is, is just still needing to uh, drop ceiling and odds and ends. But anyway, I'm bringing you guys in for this because we need to change the 30 amp dryer plug. This is the one that's here. And uh, as far as I know, it, it was working, but we want to make sure it works. We know it's hot now, but before we go, Shutting the breaker off and switching the plug to something more uh, safe. We're going to make sure we're getting 240 here. I'm only getting 115 there. I'm getting 35 there. That's not right. So something's, something's wrong here. Wasn't expecting that. I thought this was just going to work. Yeah, so this leg right here is supposed to be 120, and it's not. Here's where we're at. The double pull 30 app Zensco that was feeding that oven I just showed you had a broken handle on it which usually doesn't matter but the actual breaker itself was not pushing through the other 120 and I did check um, both phases they're both getting 120 and 240 together so it was literally just a bad breaker I mean it happens and when it happens these things are it's 70, 80 bucks. Uh, these are Zinco, Zinco's, not the Murray's. Murray's are much cheaper. These are those big fat ones here. They don't use these as much anymore. Um, I don't even know if they use them at all anymore. But obviously on older houses, you run into them all the time. So we're gonna go put this in and tighten her on up. And if, we, uh, if we're lucky, we'll be able to hook this up and have a 30 amp 240 plug for our dryer. So we have our 240 hooked up now, our 30 amp, and as far as I know, this never worked for the previous tenant because he said it did, but I got a feeling it never did. So what I need to see is 240 when I flip this breaker and hopefully it doesn't it pop because I'm assuming that the plug in the house is good and not shorting. So here we go. Okay, so it's holding. Let's see if we can get 240. That's it, 243. All right, that means we're in business and we can now close this panel up because the storm is still here. 
Okay, our new plug is, or our new outlet is hooked up. And everything seemed tidy, everything seemed right. So let's go ahead and get a volt test on it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. today's been a day of electrical. And uh, man, I'm not done yet, but it's dark outside. But now that we're painted, and I'm putting, putting all the lights in, I can actually start turning the lights on in here and work at night, finally. There's literally no shower, it's just a bathtub, which is great if you have kids, young kids, right? They don't take showers, but adults, we need showers. But the master bedroom does have a shower. Okay, I think I've got a couple more projects I can do and then I'll call it a night. one window off. A lot easier to pull this off when it's not fully dry. Um, if you guys notice that little time lapse there, I was working on that light. I should have waited. It was still really wet on the metal. So I was like trying not to touch the wall, which added a few minutes. Ah! So my gosh, there's so much wet paint on my hands. Screw the door onto the wall, our temporary door that we've been using. So I still got a little bit of work ahead of me. But for this video, I think that about wraps it up. I'm just really in a race to get this job done as fast as I can and get back to our other building. You know, we've got this other major project going on. And when this house closed escrow, I, I knew I had to jump right on this thing and uh, finish it up and hopefully free myself up so I wouldn't be distracted by this while we're working on the commercial building. But here's the broom addition. I still gotta do the drop ceiling. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this window, this is ugly. But I've got the measurements for all the blinds. I'm gonna put that order, uh, I probably have to go down and have them cut, but uh, my list is getting short. We're getting real close to getting ready for the floor guy. That'll be a fun video. All right guys, we'll see you tomorrow.